you want to see yourself in your conscious mind, you want to see yourself. You literally see yourself in your own consciousness. You see yourself the way you want to be. Then you've got to train yourself to feel you are that person. You feel it. You see it and you feel it. Now, if you continue to hold that picture and continually impress it, if you continually do that and continually impress it, then your body is going to be in that vibration. Now, there is a period of time before that idea will manifest in physical results or in physical form. A period of time must elapse, and we don't know what that period of time is. So when we think about this, all your friends are used to seeing you get the results you're getting. They're used to you feeling the way you're generally feeling and uh, talking the way you talk. Now, when you go to change this bang like that, they're going to, you know, who do you think you are? And uh, they're going to laugh at you. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to talk about you behind your back, but you're going to hear about it. So here we are here now, and we've got to take, and we've got to be this new person. We've got to feel like that's who we are, and then we have to act that way. Our problem is, and we've got a real problem with this, okay, if you stop and think about it, you do have a problem. And the problem is that in here, you um, have a paradigm. So we could say the rules for our life are in here, in our subjective mind. And those rules really care about what they think. They being God knows who, whoever you're working with, but what they think. What they think is very important. And we don't want to act like this new person because they'll make fun of us. Because we know we're not there. We know that we don't have that kind of money. We know that we don't have that kind of production. And so what are we going to do? Well, stop and think about it. Um, We just keep going along the way we are. The seminar's over, and we'll go back to thinking about what we were thinking about before the seminar started. You see, I believe that everybody has a, everybody on this line has a reasonably clear idea in your mind that if you've got the idea there, you've got it. Let's look at it this way for a moment. This is you, and this is me. If you've got an idea here, you can share that idea with me here through words, through gestures, and through writing, okay? Now, if you didn't have it here, you couldn't give it to me, but if you've got it, you can give it to me. If you can give it to me, that means you've got it. So you build the image of the person you want to be here. You've got it on an intellectual level. Okay? Now, if you get emotionally involved with that idea here, you can share it with me here oh, through, through vibration. You can share that idea here. I can pick up your feelings through vibration. You can share it. Now, you could not share it with me if you didn't have it. But because you've got it here, you can share it. You can share those feelings. And you will pick up those feelings. So you've got it here on a spiritual or emotional level. Now, the only place you do not have it is here 
on a physical level in your results. And you've got senses. You can see, hear, smell, taste, touch. They've got senses. They can hear, see, smell, taste, touch. And they look and they see it's not there. You look and you see it's not there. And because you look and see it's not there, and you're knowing they're damn well, they can see it not there, we just sort of get rid of it all and say, out of hell with it. And, um, and we let it all go. And we go along until the next seminar. You may already know about Bob Proctor's rags to riches story. This was one guy going nowhere until he made one decision that teleported his life. The change was so enormous, so light speed whipped saw crazy, that he's devoted his entire life to teaching millions of people how to do the same. For 60 years, Bob Proctor has been dreaming up gigantic goals that initially, even to him, looked unattainable in a galaxy far, far away. But he always found a way to navigate to those points of twinkling light, casting the darkness out of his life. How has he always found his way? I don't mean his paradigm shifting in a general sense taught from the front of the room. I mean, how did he find his way? Conquering old habits, distancing from his old life, moments of frustration, moments of new direction, goal achieving, exaltation, and what he did next, practice steps, missteps, and jangled senses, questioning, analyzing, changing course, lousy times, failure times, and I can't even go on any more times. Because even a Jedi Master can have a bad day. Haven't you wondered how Bob became Bob? Just imagine what his personal lessons can do for the you you're becoming. Introducing the first ever master class with Bob Proctor. Study personally with Bob from his book, You Were Born Rich. Chat with him, ask the burning questions, clear away the confusions, conquer the bad days, think like the master, and go, go, go. Your light speed is just one decision away. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.